2023. Um, it's been a hell of a journey. It was the most difficult prep that I've probably gone through. Taxing mentally. Boom, I think this is the moment everybody been waiting for. This will be the official recap of 2023 Aaron, Aaron Banks's, uh, you know, year, you know, the season. Um, the season is gone, of course, we're, we're heading into December now. Um, but again, let's stop. Make sure you like and subscribe. Dragon Farmers YouTube right now, because this will be a banger. Um, we got some important news. We got things to talk about. We got to recap some things, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of dive into the first, the first kind of question, kind of um, thing we, we want to get into. Um, and I think we're going to recap the very beginning of 2023, which is, um, I believe the Arnold Classic 2023, which I repeated, you know, um, being a two-time champion, uh, it's, it's amazing, you know? Um, but again, I've never been the type to, I guess, chase after accolades and, and things like that. Yes, I wanna be the best, don't get me wrong, yes. Ebanks <laughs> wants to be the best at everything that he does. Um, but again, it, it's just me who I am. Um, it was just another another showdown. Being, being a two-time champion uh, means to me, for the Arnold, championship title um means it means a lot you know because there's there's certain people i mean men's physique hasn't been around very long so um the arnold classic has given the men's physique division the platform to to come and showcase the best in the world um after the olympia so um i think my mindset as being the two-time champ is never get complacent, you know? Um, because again, there's always gonna be somebody that's coming after you, someone who's next up, someone who's, who's also have the same mindset or the fire um, to do exactly what you did. The Arnold Classic, I think, um, was a, a huge staple in my career as, as me as my rookie year, you know, kind of elevated, elevated who I was. Um, so after my rookie season, I did my, my first Arnold Classic uh, back in 2022. And, you know, that was the first time I've ever complete, competed at the Arnold Classic. And I, I won that show. Uh, again, we, we were going against amazing athletes. So some of the athletes came from um, different countries, top in at the, 2021 Mr. Olympia. So, you know, it the, the competition was good. Going forward and fast forwarding, my main mission going into the 2022 Arnold Classic was to win the Arnold Classic 2022 and win the Mr. Olympia in 2022. And I think I accomplished that. So, we'll fast forward a little bit more. Uh, after winning the Arnold Classic, in 2022, um, again, my goal was to win the Olympia 2022 in men's physique. And in men's physique, no one has ever done that um, in the history. So um, I am the first men's physique athlete to win an Arnold Classic and a Mr. Olympia in the same year. Um, and you know, when you win one and two shows, the number one show and the number two show in the world, um, that, that means a lot in that I kind of dominated that whole year of 2022 and going into 2023 I had that same mindset which led back into Arnold Classic 2023 which I placed first again and that was my my two-time um, Arnold Classic championship so now let's sit here and dive into we fast forward a little bit uh, won the Arnold Classic 2023 took some time off now we we're getting ready for the Mr. Olympia 2023. But, but the Legion Sports Festival came up and I wanted to do something amazing for my division. I wanted to do something that the history of, of a bodybuilder has never done. Um, a men's physique athlete at that. So 
What I wanted to do was to go in and partner with some people and I talked to Chris, Chris over at uh, the Leisure Sports Festival and talked to him and his team was like, man, I really want to make this an epic show. I want to make this a show where, again, I make history again. Um, so what we did was come up with a solution. At first we raised the pot, I think $5,000 because I was coming and uh, coming to the show. And then, um, then I was like, Chris, I think we could do more. I think we can go bigger. I think we can make this something incredible. And then I start reaching out to people and posting it on my Instagram and trying to get people to be aware of what I'm trying to do. And my mission is to, again, grow the men's physique division. Yes, I talk shit, but at the end of the day, people love that shit. People love the entertainment business. Maybe not the athletes, which I mean, it is what it is. But at the same time, I've done nothing but talk about myself, talk about what I'm going to do and what I'm going to accomplish. So, that being said, I reached out to, well, Christian Guzman had reached out to me and said, hey man, what can we do to make this bigger? How can we make this prize money go crazy? So me, Chris, and, and Christian Guzman got on the phone and came up with a solution and made it happen. And we ended up raising some more money through Christian Guzman and Alpha Elite, um, who, were, who was the, the main sponsors for the show. Uh, we raised $33,000, I think it was 33850 dollars um, so that right there broke history already because one, men's physique, first place winner, has never made more money than an open bodybuilder at a local show. At a show, period. You know what I mean? So first place for men's physique was $20,000. First place for, um, I believe, open was $10,000, but I think they added a five five thousand uh, dollar bonus for those guys um after the legion sports festival was over but uh you know that again elevating the division bringing more light bringing more spotlight to this this whole industry um has been just literally my main goal and like i've told the higher ups i've wanted to be the best ambassador for the men's physique division that i can possibly be and i believe i've done that I've, I've traveled i've i've helped do seminars i'm everywhere my face is at shows events expos seminars you know so um i am i am that ambassador um so that's one thing I do, I, I do take pride in and, you know, going forward, I will continue to be me and continue to talk how I talk and walk how I walk. So, Legion Sports Festival happens. Going into this prep was, whoa, um, crazy because we had to accelerate everything that we were doing because we we're actually prepping for the Olympia, not prepping for the Legion. So, we really had to buckle it down and really diet and really ramp up the <laughs> the cardio we switched over to fish try to try to really get the body to dial in the way it needed to be dialed in for the show and uh you know the prep wasn't i mean it was probably one of the most difficult mm, yeah it was it, it was the most difficult prep that i probably have gone through um to be honest because it, it was just taxing mentally because of the accelerated cardio went went from 20 minutes to 45 minutes went to eating <laughs> no fish to fish three times a, a day so it, the things that i had to do and to had to, to tweak for getting ready for the show which i think i came in pretty solid you know um i feel i i, I should have won the show i like i feel like i should have won every show you know um but again, it's not about what I think, it's what the judges, that, that's their call. Um, so, you, you know, you can't ever second guess a judging's position. So, um, again, I did not win the Legion Sports Festival. Um, so, I did not win the $20,000. But what I did was put money in someone else's pocket that I helped raise. You see what I'm saying? So, again, it's just it's just about me elevating our division and, and getting get more names get more get more network get more connections more sponsors more people to really gravitate towards men's physique because men's physique has always had this bad rap you know but one thing that i've done was bring eyes um 
and with bringing in eyes, it also brings a little bit more negativity as well. But my main goal was to do nothing but elevate this division to to its potential. And I, I think I've done a pretty good job at doing that. And again, like I said previously, I'm gonna continue to do that because again, I'm here, I'm, I'm E-Banks, the, the, the shit talker, the, the, the most obnoxious, you know what I mean? So, um, but no, all serious, seriousness aside, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just thankful that um, I had the opportunity to work with, work with those guys to really, really ramp up uh, the men's physique division and um, continue to pave my way and my legacy um, in this industry. You know, because when I'm gone, they're, 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 they're still going to talk about me. They're still going to talk about, hey, you remember that time when Aaron Banks did this? You know, so um, I'm just thankful and grateful that I had the opportunity to to help raise that money and again, make history. My mindset after placing second place at the Legion Sports Festival was, um, it, it lit a fire under my ass, to be honest. Um, seeing all the negativity, seeing all the, the doubters and everybody saying, oh, well, see, this is what happens when you do this. This is what happens when you do that. But at the end of the day, it's not what happens when I do a certain thing because one, um, God has my story written and God didn't, God didn't put first place on that page um, that day for me to win that show. Um, so going into the Olympia, you know, I had, I had a chip on my shoulder and I thought that again, placing second was something that I never thought I would, I would place at, at a normal show like the Legion Sports Festival. But again, like I said, that day wasn't my day. And, um, you know, sometimes things don't happen our way that we want it to happen. Like I said, God had it, it written out already. So all you got to do is sit back and trust the process. Yes, I don't, I'm not the type of person that gets frustrated, get mad about losing because I know how to lose. Um, what I did was kind of shut down the Instagram a little bit, lock on, lock in, lock back in. So what I did was lock back in for the Mr. Olympia and kind of had that tunnel vision on and, and refocused myself and kind of got my, my mind back right to um, continue to, to push the hard line for the Mr. Olympia that was coming up four weeks after the show. Um, but again, it, placing second would never break me because at the end of the day, you guys still have to understand, Aaron Banks has never been outside of the top three at any show from the NPC to the IFBB. You can look that up. The records are on npcnewsonline.com. So therefore it's, it's, I've always will, always will and be who I am and bring the package that I need to bring to, to kind of stay in that mix. So, you know, power to the winners who won and it, it is what it is. And next stop is the O. Mr. Olympia 2023, wow, was an amazing show. And, uh, you know, going into going into the Mr. Olympia, I was I was extremely confident that I was going to bring a crazy, phenomenal package, and I think I brought I brought a, a pretty nice package that I was I was fuller, uh, denser. I think my conditioning was still on point, um, but again, it, again, I placed top three at this year's 2023 Mr. Olympia. Still not a bad placing. Still got a check still number three in the world you know what i mean so um do i hang my head <laughs> no not at all not even a little bit just because i know i'm still him i am a champion you know what i mean i i still have the fire to become great i still have the fire to be back and bring my best package to redeem and get my title back going into 2003 mr olympia um the day the day before, you know, this the mindset that I had was, I felt that we were on, we're taking pictures, the pictures are coming out fire, the body's looking and, and responding the way we wanted to respond. Uh, we start carb loading the body up Friday. Um, it, everything was, was looking good. We peaked on time, you know, but uh, again, you know, again, that day was just not my day. So, being being that i were being that i was the champion in 2022 
Um, a lot of people thought that I had a lot of pressure on my shoulders, which in my mind, um, I, don't, I don't think like that. Because one, I've been pressure since I've been in this industry. I've been pressure since I was the rookie. I've been pressure when I won the Arnold Classic in 2022. I've been the pressure when I won the Arnold, the Miss. I've been pressure when I won the Mr. Olympia in 2022. I've been pressure when I went back to back when I went when I won the Arnold Classic 2023. So I don't think I necessarily had pressure. I just felt that um, that I had a lot of anxiousness to to repeat you know and then when i didn't it was to be honest i'm not even i'm not even gonna kid you on this it was a relief it was a relief that now let's see how i'm going to respond mentally for myself i didn't know how i was going to respond when of course they moved us around and they put me in that third spot i knew that i knew that they place it because it's literally one two and three so when they put me in that third position I mentally prepared myself then and I never let it I let never let myself frown make a facial expression um, again because I know how to lose and I know what it takes to get back to that point to be in that center position and um, being a champion and having that championship mindset it's kind of like that mamba mentality you know you got to be that dog and i believe i had that dog in me and i've always had that dog in me from the beginning so now we just got to bring it back to bring it back to the basics and um i can i can tell you right now 2024 mr olympia is going to be another phenomenal show and uh we will be bringing something absolutely incredible i say this every time and i do look incredible every single time but i think this is different um i think going into 2023 i had a lot going on from the traveling to everything that i was doing dealing with personally um switching sponsors doing so many different things you know um as the ambassador of men's physique so not that I'm slowing down with those things, it's just now I'm just prioritizing them a whole lot better than what I was because I was just bouncing around doing, just doing whatever, you know, making money, doing doing a show here, uh, an event there, going, going international. So um, this year going into 2024, we're gonna prioritize a little bit better and you know, we, we're gonna stay locked in, we're gonna focus in and we're gonna be resilient. We're gonna come back and, and and get my damn title back. And I'm, and I'm dead ass serious. So everybody's been wanting to know why, what's going on with the Arnold Classic 2024. Um, so let's clarify that and let's get that off the, get off my shoulders and uh, kind of talk about that. So um, it, it's been a great journey um, competing at the Arnold Classic. It's been, been nothing but great things. Um, the competition has been great. The expo has been great. The event has been great. The sponsorships, everybody who's participated in the Arnold Classic has been great. Um, but there's just a few things that, you know, that, that come up when you're a Mr. Olympia champion, um, when you put so much into a division and The fact that I, we were, as a division, trying to get more pay um, for the men's physique division, we only get paid $10,000 um, for winning the Arnold Classic. Um, and I felt, this is, this is me personally, and I know some other athletes felt this too as well, um, when they had raised the purse, for 2023's Arnold Classic Open guys, $100,000. Mind you, after I've asked them multiple times to see, hey, what can we do to raise our raise our purse to 12,000 or 15,000? That's that's chump change, you know. So 
Then they go and raise open $100,000, which I felt was, again, a slap in the face um, to the men's physique division. And don't get me wrong, I feel every other division is getting pretty paid pretty nicely. I mean, you got fitness getting paid uh, $25,000. You got other divisions, again, like I said, open, got paid 30, 300 something thousand dollars, which is awesome, amazing. Shout out to those guys who, who won that money, you know, Samson Dada, congratulations. But at the end of the day, what I stand for and who I stand for is men's physique and Aaron Banks. So um, as far as, again, going into 2024, I just felt that it was kind of like my time to take a step back from the Arnold Classic and focus really on just growing into this year's, this next year. My plan is to grow um, into next year's Mr. Olympia 2024 and kind of just really stay focused and locked in and again, bring that ama amazing package that I, that I usually bring. And um, that's again, putting off to the sides, the, the extra distractions that I don't need. I'm already a two-time champion. What else, I mean, I don't care about chasing records or who has more titles than I do. I've, I've won two already. I, you considered the second best show in the world, I've won two of those. So um, now it's my turn to really um, hone in on being that Mr. Olympia of men's physique again in 2024. Um, so again, I won't be competing at all um, this next 2024 until October, Mr. Olympia 2024. Everyone keeps asking me about these new height and weight restrictions in men's physique. So, so, do they hurt me? No, they do not. Do they help me? Absolutely, because being six one and a half, that gives me 10 more pounds to add on to my frame um, and to kind of grow into my physique even better than what we've been doing. We've been chasing uh, a package that we really loved, which was the Boston Pro Package. And I think I was on stage at 222 and we, we got phenomenal feedback from the judges. Like we want to see this every single time, but I think it's time to grow and stay, stay on top of the game with um, this new weight cap. The weight cap, I think, um, is, is going to hurt a lot of people. And it's not going to hurt them, but it's going to push them to um, lose a certain amount of muscle and look that these guys want to actually lose um, going into 2024. Because again, this, this rule has been in effect for since after the Mr. Olympia 2023. So um, I'm just excited to be able to put on some, some weight. We're not going to tip the scale and g grow 10 pounds. That's not what our plan is. Our plan is to kind of grow around three to four solid pounds of, of nice muscle mass and, and grow from there and see, see what the body looks like from there um, going forward. So we're gonna leave this with, um, some positivity and you know I, I am a positive person um, I'm an energy based person I love um, people with energy around me in my circle um, but I do and I this is this is gonna be from the bottom of my heart I really do appreciate everybody who's been supporting me everybody who's been behind me from my sponsors to my coach everybody who's everybody and I want to also really thank my fans who've been really rocking with ebanks and uh you guys have have been sending so much positive comments dms my way and i really do i really do want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because after placing second i've got a lot of a, a lot of negative comments and dms but i also received a lot more positive comments and DMs from my supporters. So again, um, from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys. E Team e Banks, y'all rock. I, I cannot I cannot continue to to thank you guys more than more enough because you guys literally are the best. And um, we're gonna we're gonna continue to come back and we're gonna bring we're gonna bring a crazy package and a crazy crazy look 
We're gonna bring a crazy package. We're gonna bring a crazy look for 2024. So for all those supporters and the people out there who rock with eBanks, continue, buckle up, because we about to go on a ride and we're going back to the top. We're gonna be at that number one spot one more time. Last but not least, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Dragon Pharma, eBanks. I want y'all to let me know what y'all wanna see next. Comment, like, subscribe. Let us know, what do you guys wanna see next? What do you guys wanna see me train? How I'm eating? You guys let me know. We're gonna bring out the content for you guys. You know we bring amazing content. You know we gonna give you this crazy ass energy. And uh, hey man, again, from literally from the bottom of my heart, I really do thank you guys. Dragon Pharma, eBanks, we out.